Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well Scorpio. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much Scorpio for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Scorpio for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Scorpio, Please click the bell. Please click subscribe. Let us see what is your guided message, okay? <clears throat> we will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? This is for the Scorpio sign. I hope you're doing well, Scorpio. What's the guided message for the Scorpio sign, please? Scorpio, this is for you. So the order of the reading, Scorpio, we will start with your energy checked in. And then the second part of the reading, let's see what's coming towards you. Okay, what's, what's your guided message? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? Collective. Oh, look at that. Okay. What is the message that is meant for you to know? The chariot card, the star card is here. You have the hierophant card, Scorpio. What's your guided message? Okay. What's coming towards you? You've got the hangman. The center of the reading is the justice card. The connecting energy between you and this situation or person that is coming towards you is the nine of cups. The hidden energy is the six of pentacles. In the immediate future, you've got the devil card and advice is the tower card oh sorry it's an ace of wands it looks like a tower card okay scorpio 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 okay <coughs> let's see scorpio let me just hold my microphone and so we start your reading so you're starting the reading scorpio with the chariot card in here you could be dealing with a cancer you have the star card an Aquarius and you've got the Hierophant card the Hierophant card is sitting in your higher self okay I would say you're very relaxed with the Hierophant card it looks like you figure things out okay I would say Scorpio you're growing in power Scorpio I would say in terms of energy checked in in terms of your current energy checked in this is post eclipse i would say you have a secret plan or it's possible that you have a plan but you're not telling the world or that could be the advice to you is that your next plan don't share it yet until it's finalized there's something very secretive about the higher fun card in here or something there's something that you have to keep it secret, Scorpio. Ooh, the sun card. Hmm. I would say, Scorpio, you can take a bow. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up a good vibe, a good, good vibe. You can take a bow because this is your moment. It looks like for some of you, it is your moment. It is your time to be in a committed relationship, to be in a committed project, to be in a committed business for some of you guys. But there is a secret it's gonna be there's something magical mysterious and it's connected to the sun card and if you look at the sun card there is two person facing off so for some of you let's see oh two of cups oh my gosh scorpio look at that look at this two of cups look um i would say scorpio post eclipse in the next three seven ten days you can take a bow you can take a relax you know like because the hierophant card look when i was channeling the star when i was channeling the star card the hierophant card i feel so relaxed like there's something there's something in your vibe there's something coming you know if you rewind the the early part of when i'm reading it i could feel like you're sitting you're committed and you know that you're about to get into a sun card and a two of cups the sun card is like friendship the romance or it could be a conversation that leads into a breakthrough 
Okay, like the sun card, something connected to so simple and yet it led to a breakthrough. And you're keeping it a secret or you have to keep it a secret or you're protective of it. Something, something joy, something joyful, something fun, something exciting, something mysterious, something so simple of an invitation, it would lead to a two of cups. It could be you have this idea, a simple idea, it turned out to be a breakthrough. It could be there is the simple invitation, you went there and it blew your mind because you got an idea or you met someone there. But there is something mysteriously and magically working towards you and I see you committed because the Hierophant card, you're waiting. Look at that, this is you. There's something in your vibe that I'm waiting I'm manifesting, I'm attracting. So if I get an invitation from the universe, I will get up from this tree and explore it. So you're secretly, like there's something so secret and mysterious about you that anybody who would invite you and it's interesting, you would explore it with the sun card. I mean, friends or family or it could be colleagues, but the star card, the chariot card, you will... Because the storyline I'm picking up is that this is you. You're sitting pretty. And then a friend invite you. The chariot card, the star card. You're going to go. Okay? So anyone who would invite you, whether it's a party, it's an event, or it could be your higher self telling you, visit that place, look into that library, try that, or, you know, go to your friends or initiate this invite. It would lead you to something so simple invitation and it would lead you to a breakthrough. Something so simple, something, how how do I explain this Scorpio? It's like you never expected that you would find business or love or somehow you're under and like there's a part of you that you don't expect. You don't expect. You, you don't you don't have any expectation you have no idea that your breakthrough is just around the corner in here you know with with the hierophant card okay because the star card this is like breakthrough the chariot card is like invitation invitation like you're open to an invitation and the universe is going to send you a simple so simple like the sun card the two of cups there's a simple invitation you go through there mind-blowing you met someone or it's a simple invitation you talk to people and you had a breakthrough moment and it gives you an idea on how to solve a problem or how to open up a open up a business or be inspired but your breakthrough is coming from a simple invitation a simple activity something around the corner just right around the corner and i believe and i believe the reason why you're getting it i'm seeing one 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 scorpio oh my gosh like it's time for you to take a bow. This is your moment. You're about to recognize all of the right reason to have your breakthrough. Like this is um, the right moment. The right reason is here. You will you will catch. Okay, <laughs> there's something in your reading Scorpio. Like you will catch a big fish in a small pond. You know, like um, the, there's something in your there's something in the reading where. You normally catch a big fish in a big pond. You're going to catch the big fish in a, the smallest pond. Like you will you will meet a breakthrough person, idea, moment, or a breakthrough moment that will inspire you in as simple as, it could be in as simple as a park for some of you guys. Okay. This is something that you don't need to look for this. It will come for you, Scorpio. It's coming in a form of invitation because look, this is you the universe they have identified okay the universe have identified that you've been sitting there manifesting fishing the right reason all the right reason okay you're accepting all of the right reason the right offer so you're patiently waiting look at that you're patiently waiting under the tree and the universe recognize, recognize that you're ready and patient. And therefore, they're going to send you your breakthrough moment, your breakthrough offer, your breakthrough person in a very simple invitation. I would say, I would, you know, like that song from Rihanna that always, you know, say here or sing here is that 
you know, you fall in love, you, 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 you fall in love in a hopeless place. Well, this is not hopeless. You're going to fall in love or find or meet a breakthrough moment in a place so simple, in a place you never expect that there is a diamond there. Okay, Scorpio. Because from the Sun card to a Two of Cups, it could also feel like if this is love, it's connected to one of your friends. Like you, you've known this, you've known this friend for a very long time, and they have this cousin. So you will be surprised that oh, my next job, my next breakthrough moment is just connected to this person, and I know this person for a very long time, Scorpio. You've never seen it because you're too busy looking somewhere you were not meant to be. But now you're seeing it because you're relaxed, you're manifesting, and you're connecting with people with all the right reason. You know, this Hierophant card. To cease to believe, Scorpio. But you will realize, oh my gosh, sunshine, you are so right. I met someone, I had a breakthrough, breakthrough moment, breakthrough offer, and it's just in front of me all this time. Hierophant card, Scorpio. Scorpio, life moves in a mysterious way. Sometimes the offer is already in front of us, but, but we cannot see it because we're so attached to the past or we're so attached into something we desire that does not desire us back. Well, this time you don't desire anything. You just sit there and relax and inviting, 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 inviting. This is exciting, Scorpio. Okay. Now, what else is coming towards you? With the hangman, the justice card. Um, for some of you guys, for some of you guys, you know, my reading is, I was, you know, I was, when I was laying the cards, you know, I was wanting to use my usual format of reading, but I'm now moving towards something the, the the second part of the reading, Scorpio, it's now like a freestyle reading because I'm I'm picking up a different vibe. I would say Scorpio with the hangman and the justice card and the nine of cups in here. I want you to know that there could be a person or a situation or it could be happening right now or recently, but the universe is reminding you don't get caught up in a game of external validation okay because i feel like this justice card in the hangman <clears throat> i feel like the hangman in the hangman in the justice card there are some people around you they're deliberately making you feel left out or making you feel that you are behind life and where you're supposed to be that's not true you know i'm sure there, there is quite, there's quite like, um, maybe two or three. One at, one at school. Maybe you're studying. One at school. One in the house. One of a, you know, an envious friend of yours for some of you. But I want you to know that where you are, okay, where you are, where you are, Scorpio, is where you're meant to be. Where you are right now is where exactly you're meant to be. You're not behind. Do not hang men. Do not think, don't ever think, Scorpio, that you're running out of time. That's not true. You are not running out of time. Do not get caught up in a game of external validation. Or, I don't know, you compare your life. They, you compare your life to them and they compare their life to you. That's, that's BS. They have something that you don't have and you have something that they don't have. Okay, and each and every one of us, we have a different journey and you're not running out of time. You are a butterfly. You're meant to grow where you are. Your progress is different from them. Your blessings is different from them. You are different from where that other person, maybe you're comparing yourself. So the universe is advising you, avoid people, avoid external validation, avoid comparison, with the nine of cups in here right now this is a moment where you should step into your power and really celebrate all the incredible ways you've grown and evolved if you know the nine of cups in here the justice card because it looks like a butterfly okay if there's a part of you that you're insecure 
or you're getting jealous about people around you, Scorpio, you have so much that they don't have, okay? If there's a part of you that you're feeling low confident or your self-esteem is low because you don't have this, they don't have this, or you feel like you're running out of the time, that's not real. That's fear, okay? I want you to step into your power and celebrate all of the incredible things you have achieved in life and you have grown and evolved because that will make you empower that will make you powerful like empower yourself empower yourself do not compare you versus the world you know that's not true we don't live don't live in the standard of the society you're different i am different you know i tell you one of my biggest insecurity is that i don't have a baby you know, that is, that's the only thing I am jealous of another woman. But then when I got the money, when my, when my YouTube blew up and I have the money, I was able to extract a lot of eggs and I have a lot of embryos. I'm not even sure if I want a baby, you know? So my biggest insecurity, I have outgrown it. If there is any part of you that is insecure, that's just fear. And it's coming from you comparing yourself to other women, to other men, to other to other people. Okay, stop external validation, darling, 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 darling. Stop external validation. Stop external validation. Stop connecting or hanging out with people who makes you feel like you're behind. They're the one who's behind. That's why they're you know that's that's why they're very pronounced about that. You are in your unique journey. You are in your unique journey. And I'm telling you right now, you're not running out of time. There is seven to eight billions of people here on earth. Imagine the amount of resources we can produce, the amount of intelligence, the amount of energy that we're working together to solve world's problem, health problem, you know. So look into reality. You're not behind, darling. And the universe is telling you, you're being encouraged to keep your eyes open for opportunities that support your intention and keep people who their their eyes lit up when they see you and stay away from people who compares their life to you or who somehow somehow it makes you compare your life to them stay away from them stay away from them you know you're amazing your life is amazing if you're not married or you're not you don't have the house or you don't have this you probably have something that they don't have okay so you're good you're a butterfly scorpio you're evolving you're growing you're stepping into your power keep an eye to opportunities or people that supports intention uh for some of you guys i'm kind of picking up that you know for some of you um you might relocate you know, for some of you, the Six of Pentacles, the Devil card, the Ace of Wands, you might relocate. You might relocate for a short period of time. Like um, you might be assigned in a different business unit, in a different place for a short period of time. And that will lead you to an opportunity that you've been seeking, Scorpio. So have an open mind to something that there's something in it that you want and it makes you insecure. You couldn't get it and the other people have it. You will get that. You will get that. You will get that. You know, there is a timeline that is allocated for you to have that or experience that Scorpio. And I think the closer you can get that is something connected to relocation. But I believe for some of you guys, this relocation is temporary. So for some of you guys, like you will be relocated to stay in this place because maybe you have, you're renovating. Okay. Or you will relocated to do this job because someone is on maternity leave. leave. And that would, you know, activate something that you want for a very long time okay so stop stop comparing don't go there your your journey is unique your journey is so beautiful scorpio i promise you yeah look at that they might have that life but they don't have this nine of pentacles look at you you're very powerful you've got the money you've got the resources you've got the intelligence and i tell you if you want a guy if you want a woman you 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 can flirt and you can get it but you're not cheap your quality i'm telling you guys nine of pentacles in here you have a standard 
if you're struggling to find the person because you have a standard and for some of you you specifically want someone in the past that someone in the past is quality you've got good you know good choice but they're unavailable emotionally available you know you you choose like you 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 are how do i say this you know how to choose quality people but it so happen that they're emotionally unavailable but when it comes to stability financially you're good you choose the most intelligent the most charming but emotionally unavailable scorpio look this is you step into your power knowledge is power money is power okay so this is what i have for you guys embrace a brand new chapter in your life scorpio we're all in the eclipse and there's something revealing in the next new moon because the, the eclipse is the full moon embrace the new chapter in our life enjoy enjoy don't compare empower yourself be confident keep fishing you know not in a bad way like you know keep keep searching keep looking keep putting yourself out there you'll you'll find it scorpio okay and of course nine of pentacles keep on living the life you want or keep building memories every day you build memories okay and this is what i have for you guys thank you so much guys for supporting the channel if you're vibing with me click subscribe and click the bell i'll put the link down in the description box below i have uploaded a very very nice reading from the main channel i'll link it up downstairs so sorry down in the description box below <laughs> you take care scorpio stay powerful bye bye